what's going on guys in this video i've got several very unique observations to share with you guys a couple of things spotted above the earth in the atmosphere that look like large crafts in fact look very much like large crafts of some sort also have a brand new picture slideshow I've put together and a video sent in from Sweden I want to share with you guys. I talked a little bit about it yesterday from Patrick and this morning I was outside early once again taking photos. You can see here of Jupiter, Saturn, Mars, and the moon. The last time I photographed, actually I photographed it three mornings in a row. Got the moon up here in the front where it looked like a long dragon going this way. Now the moon's down here. Looks like the dragon's going down into the sky instead of up. And I've also got a picture I'll share later of the moon right here in the center. But there's Jupiter, there's Saturn, there's Mars, and of course there's the moon. And if we had a really, really good telescope, Pluto is back in there somewhere. But this morning, once again, those lights came and I found that those are indeed the Starlink satellite system and over here on the left you can see a an app that shows where these satellites and other satellites are at various times around the world this morning i was outside around four o'clock 4 10 and at 4 22 i recorded some not all of the starlink lights sometimes it takes near 10 minutes for these things to go over but this morning i saw four or maybe five over here on the right you can see right there on the left that's the exact time and location they were actually right above my head at 4:22 this morning the video i took is on the right and you can see that's the third one out of probably 12 or 15 that went over and here comes number four right there and i think i might have gotten one more i got four maybe five actually saw more than that but i was taking photographs of of jupiter and Saturn and Mars, but anyway, that was where they were at 422 this morning. So if you saw a long string of lights in the sky, especially out here in Arizona, Nevada, Washington, California, Utah, that would have been the Starlink 5BH going over. There's several sets of these things, and they're up almost every day. If it's clear and not cloudy, you'll be able to see them somewhere in the sky yesterday i showed this incredible photo out of sweden that's a still image of this video he shared with me yesterday of this amazing halo around the sun and then there's a big 360 degree arc that goes all the way across the sky look at that just an amazing video sent in by patrick out of sweden got sun dogs off to the left and right and we've got multiple halos looks like two possibly three going on in this video so quite an amazing video sent in by patrick out of sweden good job guys you're wide awake and on the ball i've also got something i want to share with you guys that was sent in to me by chris he observed this while viewing the iss webcam looking down at the earth he noticed this in the clouds and you can clearly tell that whatever this is is underneath the clouds but yet it looks like it's off of the ground. It's very out of place. It doesn't look like the rest of the clouds. It doesn't look like land or water. It looks like a structure. And that's what caught his attention and he took multiple still images of it. Well, I took these still images and I put together a little video clip. I did some enhancements trying to get a better look at whatever this thing may or may not be. He observed this on the 9th, April 9th of 2020 as the space station was making around on the daylight side of Earth. I'm not exactly sure of the location. It was Chris out of West Virginia that noticed this, we'll just call it an anomaly, a large craft, something you can see what looks like light right there. Doesn't look big enough to be sunlight. It looks like a single or maybe a couple of points of light there. I don't know what's going on. I've never seen anything quite like this looks very large it's several hundred miles wide whatever it is and long I've never seen anything like that on here seems to have a unique systematic shape it doesn't look like it's super random like the clouds you see what I mean and that's what got his attention the clouds no doubt they're just totally random clouds we see those all the time this here is something unique we don't see that all the time and you can tell it's underneath that layer of clouds right there here it is in a uh, x-ray format and light is dark and dark is light and you can see the structure whatever that is under the clouds but yet above the ground very very unique and there's the bright light you can see how dark it is 
Here's another enhancement right here. Yeah, this is a negative format. And there's the object there. Very obvious, there's something there. Chris watches the ISS live cam all the time and he'd never seen anything like this. Here I've simply just saturated it quite a bit trying to pull forward the darkness to enhance the light, the light color of this structure, whatever it is. And there it is, that's uh, how it turned out in that particular enhancement. And here's another one here. You can kind of see the lights a little clearer over here on the lower right. And there appears to be some sort of a reflection or color in the center, not necessarily a light, but maybe reflecting light. Um, don't know, never seen anything quite like that. Did my best analyzing this thing, and this is the best I could pull forward, whatever it may be. I don't know, it's pretty neat. Noticed by Chris from the International Space Station, high above Earth, and that sits 250 miles above Earth. Uh, the space station does. I'm not exactly sure how high that would be. It was underneath the cloud deck, so probably a few thousand feet off of the ground, whatever it was. Got another unique observation. This was shared with me by Annie also from the International Space Station off the west coast of Africa. Got a large, what looks like a Millennium Falcon. Look at that. Just an incredible observation. Here it is in negative format. Look at the outline of that cloud. Does not look random. The rest of the clouds around it look random. That looks like a version, or yeah, basically a version of a Millennium Falcon hanging out in the sky off of the west coast of Africa. How about that? Look at that. Nearly a perfect match. Great observation by Annie, who also watches the ISS live cam all the time. A lot of people notice some very extraordinary things from the ISS live cam, and this is one of those things. And it could be just a random cloud that, that looks like a Millennium Falcon. Really super cool. Thank you, Annie. Greatly appreciate it. Now I've got a brand new picture slideshow I put together. Just one that's about a couple of minutes, but boy, is it loaded with good content. Jade and Mike out of East Tennessee. Got some clouds here that don't look like any clouds I think I've ever seen before. Look at that. Those are in the sky above Earth, or they were. I don't even know what you would call those. Super unique observation. Jade and Mike out of East Tennessee. Patsy R. out of Naples, Florida. Almost have a fluorescent orange going on there. Jennifer out of the United Kingdom. Got a unique halo around the sun from over in the UK. Look at that, would you? Just, actually, that's beautiful. It's like a big eye in the sky. Big tiger eye. How about that? Nice job. Jennifer out of the United Kingdom. Jaden Mike once again out of East Tennessee. Clouds literally rolling in. Looks like that big cloud is doing a somersault in the sky above East Tennessee. Literally rolling through the sky. Incredible. Anna F out of Brazil. More fiery orange and gold sunrises. Spectacular skies here recently around planet Earth. Wind Talker out of upstate New York looking at the moon from the other night. Big orange halo around the moon, just like you saw around the sun. Just an incredible photograph, much like this one here out of Calgary, Alberta. Not sure what's going on here. I'm going to have to do some more analysis on this. It was sent in by Ascension. And these, whatever they are, these weird structures of light appeared in the photograph. I don't know if that's some sort of a digital anomaly. What's going on? All I can say, they appear to be behind the clouds that are, and they're behind the buildings too. So whatever those are, see the cloud right there? It's behind those clouds, behind these clouds here, and especially right here. Totally obvious, those are behind the clouds. Don't know what's going on. Don't claim to know what's going on. Neither did they. Just sharing with you guys. I'm going to do some more work on those. Lena M. from the Irish Sea. Above the Irish Sea. You just don't get much more pink and purple than that. Look at this sun here by Bear956 out of McAllen, Texas. Just a very unique sunset. Looks huge in the sky over there. Incredible photo. Much like this one here by Cindy B. out of Clearwater, Florida. 
Big ol' super moon in the sky. How about that? If you guys are new viewers, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click on this bell. That way you'll be notified each time I upload a new video. If you're current subscribers, double check. Make sure you're still subscribed. And make sure the bell is still turned on. If you guys have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. All of the photos end up here at the Sky Phenomena Photo Gallery at the website. And sometimes I use them in a picture slideshow, just like you saw right here. Thanks for watching. Have a super day and be safe out there.